When working with text in Illustrator, you can strengthen your design by forcing text to wrap around a custom piece of artwork. Illustrator makes this process incredibly easy. Let's take a look at how we can wrap text around an object in Illustrator CS6. I'm beginning this video with the surfer underscore wrap.ai file already open on my machine. And if I come down here using my selection tool and I click on this text area, you'll see that in this case I have one big text area divided into two columns. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to apply a piece of artwork to this and have the text wrap around that shape to give it a little bit more visual interest. So what I've done here is if you come up here and you click on this footprint artwork that I have up here at the top, I'm just going to drag this down and I'm going to position it kind of right between these two columns. And maybe what I'll do to make it a little bit more appealing is I'll make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to hold down shift and I'll just drag it to make it a little bit bigger so it has a little more impact here. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come up to my swatches panel and I'll just fill that artwork with white. That way it's a little bit easier to see against this dark background. Now to see this a little bit better I'm going to zoom in on this. So I'll hold down command spacebar on Mac or control spacebar on Windows and just click and drag around the footprint artwork so I can see what I'm doing. Now with this footprint artwork selected I'm going to come up here to the object menu and I'm going to choose text wrap make. And by default it's going to apply a default value to wrap the text around this object. Now a couple of things to point out when you're working with wrapping text around an object is that the object needs to be on the same layer as the text. And in addition the object needs to be above the text in the stacking order. So let's take a look at our layers panel to see what I mean. I'll open up my layers panel. Here's my text layer. If I expand that, we'll see that I have my artwork, which is grouped here. And then below it, I have my North Shore text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the group and I'm going to drag it underneath the North Shore text. And you'll see that the minute I do that, the text wrap no longer applies. So that's one of the common mistakes people make when applying a text wrap to an object in Illustrator, is that they'll apply it, but it doesn't seem to work. And that's because our artwork, or whatever's applying the text wrap, needs to be above the text in the stacking order. So let's move this group above the text, and again, the text wrap is applied. Now I'm going to close the Layers panel. And I do have additional control over how this wrap is being applied. So with the object that's applying the wrap selected, I'm going to come up here to the object menu, come down to text wrap, and I'm going to choose text wrap options. As you can see, there's a default value of six points applied as the wrap around this object. You can turn on your preview and you can adjust the settings to make it bigger or smaller, whichever you prefer. To me it looks like about 8 points does a little bit better of a job when applying the wrap around this object. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And I'll zoom out a little bit using Command minus or Control minus on my keyboard. And if I click off of it we can see now how the artwork has a nice visual interest here. It's pushing the text away and it's wrapping nicely around that graphic. Now if at any point you decide you no longer want this object to do any of the wrapping, you can select the object. Once again, go to Object, Text Wrap, and this time choose Release. And that will, again, release the text wrap from that object. I don't really want to do that, so I'll go ahead and undo that to reapply that text wrap. And text wrap can be wrapped around a piece of vector artwork, a group, an image, pretty much anything you want to apply a wrap to. Practice using the text wrap feature in your own artwork, and you'll see just how powerful this feature can be.